So you're in the pulp and fiber industry and your wire mesh molds keep getting damaged? Do you just keep buying new ones? Well, what if I told you there was a way to repair them in-house? I'll explain everything, so stick around. Hey there, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar and with the spike in demand of pulp and fiber molds, manufacturers have been doubling even tripling their production. And because of that, parts of the process like wire mesh molds are getting accelerated wear and tear. You may be looking at these molds and be thinking, there's gotta be a way to just fix these, right? But how exactly do damaged molded pulp and fiber wire mesh molds get fixed? Well, here at WS Tyler, we understand that every process comes with its fair share of hassles and setbacks. We want to make sure woven wire mesh isn't included in your setbacks. So we strive to be an extension of your team so you can address the other obstacles you're facing. So to help you understand what you need to do, we'll go over how woven wire mesh is used in the molded pulp and fiber industry, what causes woven wire mesh molds to become damaged, how to determine if your wire mesh molds have faults, and how you can repair faulty wire mesh molds. So when you hold a finished molded pulp and fiber product, you're essentially holding the pulp and fiber filter cake that was extracted from the slurry. To separate the solid fibers from the water, screening media like woven wire mesh is placed on top of the molding dies. The wire mesh line dies are dunked into the slurry, and as these dies resurface, a vacuum, pressure, and heat are applied to properly form the extracted pulp and fiber. Manufacturers use the wire mesh screen layer to ensure this applied heat, pressure, and vacuum are distributed evenly. So despite being more durable than most screening media, woven wire mesh will eventually wear down and the individual wires will begin to break. So generally, wire mesh molds have a lifespan of six to eight weeks. The most notable factor though that will tell you how long your wire mesh molds will last is how you handle the mesh, particularly when cleaning. Basically, the rougher you are when cleaning the molds, the shorter the life expectancy. So it's recommended to avoid using abrasive brushes or scrubbers and harsh chemicals. And when possible, water and a mild detergent should be used. You should also be mindful that the fibers in the slurry wear the surface of the mesh over time. A good rule of thumb though, is that the more abrasive the fibers, the, the quicker the surface of the mesh will wear down. So the easiest way to quickly identify flaws in your mesh is through visual inspection. This should be done periodically and you should look for things like tears in the mesh, broken wires and scratches uh, on the surface of the mesh. The quality of your pulp and fiber goods also tell you a lot about the state of your mesh. If you begin to see inconsistencies such as uh, clumps of pulp and fiber or holes in the products, odds are you should look into replacing or repairing your mesh molds. So if you do decide to repair the faults in your wire mesh rather than replace the entire mold, you will most likely be welding the mesh. This can mean attempting to weld a broken wire back together or cutting the flawed portion out and welding a new mesh into its place. But regardless, welding your mesh instead of replacing it will ultimately result in costly downtime. Also, repairing your mesh with welding techniques will negatively impact the aesthetics of the final product. This is because when molding pulp and fiber, the pore openings of the screens control the accuracy of the slurry extraction, and the profile of these openings are transferred during the process. So basically, having welded sections of the mesh would not only alter the mesh's accuracy, but the mesh's welded areas would leave troublesome indents in the final product. It's for this reason that if you are producing products that must meet specific aesthetic criteria, such as uh, plates or cutlery or bottles, it is strongly recommended to replace any wire mesh molds with substantial faults. But if you are producing products where function is prioritized over form, like egg cartons or packing material, repairing your mesh molds through welding will have little to no effect on the end product. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn even more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kodlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.